today i will talk about diamond blackfin anemia which is also known as congenital hypoplastic anemia i will discuss its etiology genetic defect clinical manifestation laboratory findings differential diagnosis treatment and prognosis now first i will discuss its etiology and genetic defect in diamond blackfin syndrome bone marrow has deficiency or absence of rbc precursors with otherwise normal cellular marrow now 40 to 45 percent cases are familial with an autosomal dominant pattern of inheritance now the primary defect in dba is intrinsic to erythroid progenitor cells which show increased apoptosis now mutations for different ribosomal proteins have been recognized in chromosome 19 10 and 15 and the genes involved are rps19 rps24 and rps17 now here it is important to mention that high level of erythropoietin are present in serum and urine in a patient with diamond blackfin syndrome. However, mutation in the erythropoietin receptor gene have not been identified yet. Now friends, I will discuss its clinical manifestation. 92% cases present in infancy with paler. Now the usual age is about 2 to 6 months uh, and 25% cases they present at birth. However, high drop fetalis is rare. Now, 50% cases of diamond blackfin syndrome have some kind of congenital anomaly. 21% cases have more than one anomalies and 25% cases have multiple anomalies. Now, ophthalmic anomalies include strabismus, congenital cataract, congenital glaucoma. And the neck of the baby may be short or there may be webbing, sprangle deformity or clipper field syndrome may be present. Now, musculoskeletal anomalies, especially of the upper limb, may be present in 30% of the babies. There may be absent radial pulse, flat thinner eminence, triflangeal bifid duplex or hypoplastic thumb, and also syndactyly may be there. Now, urogenital anomalies are present in 38% cases. These may be in a form of hypospadias or absent or horseshoe-shaped kidneys. Cardiac anomalies are present in 30% cases. There may be VST, AST, coarctation of aorta or it may be complex congenital heart disease. Now in diamond blackfin syndrome, there may be short stature and learning difficulties. Now friends, I will discuss the laboratory findings. On blood tests, we have anemia. MCV is increased. However, there are no hypersemented neutrophils. Now retic count is very much low. There may be thrombocytopenia or thrombocytosis. There is occasional neutropenia. On chemical evaluation of RBC, I antigen expression is increased. Fetal hemoglobin and erythrocyte adenosine deaminase activity in RBC is also increased. In serum, iron level is also increased. Now on bone marrow biopsy, RBC precursors are decreased while other cellular elements are normal. On chromosomal studies, the chromosomes are normal and there is no increased fragility or chromosomal breaks when lymphocytes are exposed to alkylating agents. Now friends, I will discuss the differential diagnosis of diamond blackfin syndrome. It must be differentiated from other anemia which have low rate count. Now the syndrome of transient erythroblastopenia of childhood is often the primary alternative diagnosis. Now, TEC often is differentiated from DBA by its relatively late onset, although it can occur in infant less than 6 months of age. But macrocytosis, congenital anomalies, fetal red cell characteristics and elevated erythrocyte adenosine DMINase activity, they are generally associated with DBA and not with TEC. Now, second is the hemolytic disease of the newborn and it can have a protracted course and the associated anemia is equally coupled with marked reduced erythropoiesis but the anemia usually resolves spontaneously at 5 to 8 week of age. Now the aplastic anemic crisis which are characterized by reticulocytopenia and the decreased number of RBC precursor which are often caused by parvovirus B19 infection. They can complicate various types of chronic hemolytic diseases but usually they occur after the first several months of life. Now, infection with parvovirus B19 in utero, it can also cause pure red cell aplasia in infancy, even with high drop fetalis at birth. However, the absence of parvovirus B19 detected by polymerase chain reaction, it is an essential feature in establishing the diagnosis of DBA in young infant. Now, other inherited macrocytic bone marrow failure syndrome should be considered, particularly Fanconi anemia and Schwarzman-Diamond syndrome. 
other condition like hiv and drugs immune uh, processes and pearson syndrome they sh should also be ruled out in a case of diamond blackfin syndrome now friends i will discuss the treatment of diamond blackfin syndrome now corticosteroid are the mainstay of therapy these are generally recommended after 1 year of age prednisone or prednisolone is given in a dose of 2 mg per kg per day now the treatment schedule is that when hemoglobin start increasing the dose should be tapered to the lowest effective dose then double this dose and give on alternate days now taper further and uh, it can be given two times per week as the lowest effective dose now rbc precursors are increased in the bone marrow within 1 to 3 week followed by peripheral reticulocytosis then hemoglobin normalizes by about 4 to 6 weeks now during this corticosteroid therapy hemoglobin should be maintained more than 9 g per deciliter now with this therapy response is seen in more than 80% cases now friends i will discuss its prognosis 40% cases are transfusion dependent while 40% are steroid dependent now 20% cases require no therapy to maintain an acceptable hemoglobin level most remission occur by first decade of life and it has been suggested that overall survival at more than 40 years is about 75.1% now friends 70% death in diamond blackfin syndrome are treatment related and these include opportunistic infections due to corticosteroid therapy iron overload and transplant complications now 30% death may be disease related and these include aplastic anemia and malignancy now diamond blackfin syndrome is a premalignant syndrome and 5% cases represent acute leukemia especially myeloid leukemia and myelodysplasia and rarely solid tumors such as osteosarcoma can also occur in diamond blackfin syndrome thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel